Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben Bonk, and welcome back to my second edition in my Hacker Game Devlog series. So, I must admit, the past few days I've been working on the game have been pretty slow, and I haven't actually had too much motivation to work on the game, because while it might seem like I might gain a ton of motivation, I didn't end up winning my first game jam, and that was really, really awesome to experience, you know, uh, a game jam like that. But I didn't really have as I don't I think it was a combination of me just procrastinating because I was trying to work on something kind of hard, which you'll see in later in the video, and just me coming off that devlog series. I wasn't the most motivated for this week, so this devlog is going to be in a little bit of a different style instead of going day by day. I'm just going to run down what I've been doing because my work schedule has been kind of frantic and unorganized. But with all that said, let's get into the devlog. So my plan for the next few days was to work on the computer inside of the game. So I made this computer screen. I also made a bunch of different apps like this browser, this recycling bin, uh, which I can put trash in, a simple game that I'm planning to make so that you can play, kind of console line if you need to like write console code, a notepad for jotting down things, a kind of email system, and a file explorer system, and then also just a settings menu. Now, the next thing I did was I imported all of these uh, apps and programs into Unity and I made a new scene with my computer and made it so I could actually drag around my uh, different apps, which is I think is a really cool and pretty much essential feature. And I also made it so if you try to drag them out of the computer screen, they uh, will go back to their original drag position. So importing all the art was the easy part, so I spent a ton of time making a kind of program manager so I could pretty much click on any one of my programs and it'll open up this kind of window and I can also click on the app again and it will close that window, which is really essential to my computer. Pretty much as you can see, whenever I click on a program, it'll open up this window and I can open up multiple windows at once. That's pretty much all I had at this point. I also really wanted to make sure to include a time system, so I got a font off of the font, and I made some time text, and then I wrote a simple time manager script, which allowed me to change my time every single, uh, however many seconds I wanted to switch, and it'll just go from 0 to 24 hours, and that'll be one day. Next thing I did was I kind of took this same dragging the apps uh, on the main screen, so when I open them, I can actually drag around the window, and you can also drag it and make sure that it can't go out of bounds. And while at the time it was kind of clunky, I made it so with you, whatever uh, app you click on, it'll actually go to the front, uh, in front of every other single or, uh, program window. So you can click on the one in the back and it'll go in the front so you can clearly see which one you're supposed to drag. Now another thing I wanted to make sure to add was kind of a taskbar system. And it's not the best uh, that I would have wanted it to be, but it still kind of is different from most computers. Pretty much what I wanted to do is whenever you have an app open, it'll open up this app on the taskbar at the bottom of the computer. And let's say you have many windows open and you want to get, you know, make sure you can tell which one is which. Uh, it'll actually, you can click on the taskbar window and it will show, uh, it'll display that program and bring it to the front of the screen. Now, pretty much the final thing that I did was definitely, uh, no doubt, the biggest challenge for this project on the computer is I had to make it so pretty much had to totally rework this whole system to make my programs work in full screen because I really wanted to make them in full screen. And during this process, I also added an X button so you can just close your program from there. And I also added an animation with the taskbar, which you'll see later. But I wanted to make it so I can make my program full screen. So I originally did this by just changing the width and the height of my image. But then I realized, and I spent hours on this, um, that that wouldn't really work. My buttons would be way out of place and just the scale would look weird. So I ended up completely changing that to scaling up my uh, program so that it would actually scale up all the contents in there. And I also um, made it so you can click it again and go out of full screen, which this I mean, I had to totally rework the art system, you know, all, or all the art that I made for the programs, like the boundaries, all that kind of different stuff to make this work. And it was just quite a big task, but I'm really glad I got it done. I also ended up adding this system, which is pretty simple, but it'll make sure to save whatever uh, position you opened and closed the windows in. And so if you open it in the like, top right, um, 
For example, uh, it'll go to full screen and when you exit out, it'll remember uh, your program's previous position so it'll close or show the minimize window in the top right, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, here's pretty much the final product. As you can see, I can drag around my apps and the time system also works in the bottom right. I can click on an app and open it, make it full screen, and I can either press the X to close it, and I can open up many apps at once, drag on different programs, all this different kind of stuff. The taskbar still isn't completely uh, finished, but I'll make sure to work on that later. But yeah, I can still just, you know, open up apps, make them full screen, and this might seem like a simple system, but it took so long, but I'm super glad I got it working as it's really essential to my game. Final thing I don't want to forget to add is I recently added this music icon because I'm planning to do something with music and you can just open up this new music icon. Well, guys, with that said, I think that is going to wrap up this devlog. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. And while this uh, wasn't the most motivated these past few days, I think I got a lot of essential things done. And I'm really happy with the product that I've made so far. So if you did like this video, please let me know in the comments below or any suggestions for the game and I'll make sure to read them. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.